heart is in its head. This is fucking tripping me out. Really, Cheech? 10 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You getting a contact high? You gonna be all seizure out on me? I don't get seizures. Mmm. What do you call them again? They're marijuana induced fits. It's a medical condition. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? I don't know. I gotta go. Call me later. Okay. That's why I say call me later. I know. I am. So Ash and I are going to this Alvin Ailey modern dance thing. Looks kind of cool. You want to join? Modern dance? Uh, not exactly what I had in mind for tonight. Or ever, really. All right. Let's definitely grab a beer before I go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I'm just going to heat up some Chinese food. You can play video games. All right. Why change your routine at this point, huh? I gotta go. Coffee to go? Thanks. Such a, such a beautiful day out here today. It doesn't feel like November at all. It's like, like maybe early, early summer. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Done and done. L apostrophe Tisha? Letitia? Letitia? Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. What's your name? Oh. Hello. It's quite an honor. My name is David Abbott. I have read all three of your books. Oh, thank you, David. You can just call me Sam. <laughs> Sam, can you make it out to Sticky Fingers? That is my avatar name. Sticky Fingers? Yes. Okay. Question for you. What inspired your decision to kill off Tabitha at the end? Well... Was it because she had broken the sacred oath of the Baldrusian nymphs? I mean, I guess she had coming. Uh, actually, Sticky, uh, I was, I was sort of inspired by the, the movie studio that commissioned me to write it, <laughs> honestly. You see, the movie was already made, so they, they just paid me to write exactly what happened in the movie. You know, that, that's what I do. All right. Surprise! Oh my God! <laughs> Sarah! Actually, it's uh, Sarah Shipper now. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. What do you... Congratulations. Thank you. That's a, that's a rock. Mm. What... I don't know. What are, you, what are you doing here? Well, my husband works around the corner. I was walking by and I saw your name and I thought, I should just pop in. Yeah, well, I'm glad... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Wait. What? Yep, that happened. You got a... A baby. You got a baby. Yeah. Wow, wow. What about you? You got a, a wife or kids, family? Nope. No? no? None, none of the above. Not even a girlfriend? Yeah. Aww. Congratulations on the whole writing thing. It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not bad. Bad. So, where does your husband work? You say he works around the. Oh, he's at the Puma store. Oh no, he's a he's a columnist at the Times. The New York Times. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, they'd love to get a copy of the book. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Want to sign it for me? Oh, sure. <laughs> Seems so weird. Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How are your parents? Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah, they got a, they got a divorce. I, what? I left after I left college. Yeah. My mom. You always seem like they had the most perfect relationship. I'm. Hey, guess where Joel and I are spending the summer? Uh, Yosemite. Espoo. Where? Espoo. Where my whole family's from, are you kidding? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I remember in uh, Norway. Finland. Finland. Near Norway. We talked about getting married there, but no. Nice to see that you haven't changed at all, Sam. Take care, Sam. You too. Too. She's pregnant. Sucks. Yeah, I'm there signing autographs like a jackass. The stupid book. So humiliating. Sorry, Mister Stevens. Yeah. My manager told me I have to take the order. You want to hear the special? Uh, no, just the usual. Thanks, Howard. Um, so she looks at me like I was the saddest, most pathetic. Sorry, I don't work for the New York Times. New York Times is not really what it used to be. I gotta go. Oh, wait. Uh, I got a lot of customers to take care of. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Oh my God, I gotta write something good. Hi. I'm so, so sorry, uh... Hey, what's up? Yeah, no, I saw the Instagram. Hey, Alan. Hey, how'd the signing go, guy? Um... All right, total domination, right? Teen Vampire continues to command the shelves. Well, quantity over quality, that's what I say. All right, listen, the studio would like you to translate a couple more of their films into books. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I... The first one here actually smells pretty good. Let me set the table for you. It's an action-adventure flick. Mm. It's called Doom Tomb, Alien Womb. It's one word, dot .net, I think. Check it out. It's sizzling, and they got apps, and they got the whole thing happening. Okay, yeah. Um... All right, let me move on. I got a romantic comedy for you, too, and this one's called Sherpa. Sherpa. I think it could kill this shit. Like, a, like the Nepal... Yeah, a woman who climbs Everest. Okay. But in the process, she finds the biggest discovery of her life, love with the Sherpa guy. She falls in love with him. They're from different backgrounds. They, don't, they... they speak the language of kindness or something like that. L listen, Alan, I don't know. I... Look, at, I'm not saying that this stuff is actually hard on inducing, but you pop off with a couple more of these bad boys. You know Alan, I think I'm going to start writing something else. Something original. Okay. Something personal. Yeah, listen, I, I totally get it. So I'm going to take a little time off and start working on this thing, okay? All right, here, here's the thing. You burn out. You want to move the blocks around. You want to reset the table. I got to move them, yes. You need to take a break. You need to do something a little bit different, and okay. I totally get that. And I want, and that's what I want you to do, because okay, okay. I want you to stoke the fire. If okay. you take the coal too far away from the fire, then the coal burns out. Yeah. And you put the coal back in the fire, then the coal is going to burn. And I don't want you to ever think that anybody has ever called you a hack writer. A hack writer? What? Okay. When you start writing the pages, you send them over to me. Wait, Alan, a hack writer, what are you talking about? I'm just telling you that they haven't said it. Why? I'm going to go. Let me know when you're doing, doing stuff. Yeah. Okay, bye.
I'm just saying, I think I saw you come in to, to work. Oh, yeah. I am late as usual. Yeah, I'm always late. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a refill for you? Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks. Oh, shit! What? Are you okay? No, fuck. Um, I think someone just stole my computer. Oh, God. I, I, I had it here, and I put it in a bag. It's in a blue computer bag. I was going to go to the bathroom. Do you have Did another you one? Hmm? Besides that one. Nope. That's it. Just that one, actually. <laughs> Thanks. No, that would have been devastating if you'd lost your masterpiece. Yeah. No reason to go on. I know. Fortunately, it's just two pages of bad haikus and dirty limericks. <laughs> but you're a doodleist as well, I see. Oh, man. Yeah. It's just scribble. I dabble in the doodles myself. Yeah? Really? Yeah, I do caricatures in Prospect Park. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this Gorbachev? No, no, that's just a creepy guy who was in here. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I'm a huge Gorbachev fan. Oh, well, uh, this is... That was Gorbachev. <laughs> you can Gorbachev. It's really anything. good. Thanks. <laughs> it's birdie. It's very birdie. My name is Bernie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm Sam. Uh, that's my name. <clears throat> it's like Pam with an S. Oh, so... So Spam. You know, the P is silent. It's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to continue this conversation. Yeah, of course. Today. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Large coffee, almond milk, three sweet and lows, two napkins, the name's Emily. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Emily, like Gemily, but the J is silent. <laughs> Actually, Gemily spelled with a G, usually. Is it? Do you know any Gemilies? Sorry. with her too. Yeah, I was obsessed with her when she was in Star Wars. What am I, 12? You really expect me to pleasure myself to fucking Star Wars? What are you talking about? You can get older and she can stay the same age in picture form. Women, like men, grow up. Everybody ages. It's just a, it's a natural fact of life. You're not dating her. You're just jerking off to her. Right. Okay, yeah, just close your door next time. Can you close it? Uh, are you going back into the shower by any chance? Please don't. Just please don't. Excuse me. chance know what time Bertie, uh, it might be, or it might be Bertie, is working? 
It's Birdie, like, come, come. You're a friend of hers? Uh, yeah, sort of. She got canned. What? Why? What, what happened? She was late. For work? No. For a fucking period. What? I'm sorry, I don't know what's... I feel like maybe we, we got off on the wrong foot. I'm, I'm Sam, by the way. Okay. And your name is... Strah. Gerard. Strahd. 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 Anyway, what happened with Bertie? I already told you she was late. Okay. Right. But j Anything else, just, Mr. Watson? No, that's, that's great. Thanks for... Maybe she'll come back here. For what? I don't know. Me neither. Why don't you just find her online? I don't know her. Birdie Hazel. Hazel. Thank. Thanks, sir. I think I got everything. Where are you guys going? I told you a trillion times. We're going to Ashley's parents' place, then we're going to Sacred Spirit. Oh, right. Can't brainwash. Elliot, don't forget your camera. I think it's on the desk. Oh, yeah. Bye! Thank Bye! You. Hey, Elle, I found Bertie's online profile. You did? Who? Yeah. You know, the coffee shop girl. Pretty amazing, actually. Oh, yeah, nice, Yeah, you gotta man. see this. I don't know what to do. What's the next move? Write her a message saying you want to see her. Really? Should I? That seems weird. It's just like a blind message. I don't, I don't know anything about her. Yeah, sure you do. That's the beauty of getting to see her Facebook profile. There's so much information on there. You know, I mean, hell, you could become the man of her dreams if you wanted. That's true. Yeah. Baby? Yeah. Come on, I'm double parked. What are you doing? Oh shit! See you next week, class. See you. I got that one. Index finger goes on the. Is that a fret? It's called a fret. Sorry. Well, I don't know. You gotta bar it. Ow. Okay. That's it? it? Sounded different than yours. If you stop with the tune and the condescending shit, like music is about opening. Your generation is so sexy and they know it and they're texting just because you got my number off a telephone pole doesn't mean i'm not ferocious on the axe i played fucking woodstock man woodstock really it's kind of because you don't really seem that uh, woodstock 99 captain so you want to fuck with that i played back up with the fucking spin doctors barometer Wow. Yeah, wow. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Look it up. Well, I'll Google it. Yeah, do that. Okay. Sure, I didn't technically play backup, but I was backing them up from a choice seat backstage. I'm pretty tight with Chris Barron's brother. Is he, he, is he in the Spin Doctors? Are you effing fucking with me? I, I don't know. Is, uh, is this punked? Am I punked? Are you Ashley Kusher? Who doesn't know Chris Barron? I don't, I'm sorry. He's the original doc. He hooked me up with backstage passes, and we did enough K to date rape a horse. It's K. <laughs> you want to be a rock star. 
Without K, the spin doctors would be spin nurses. It's a fucking horse tranquilizer champion. Gary, I, I totally respect your musical background, and that's why I just, I, I really want you to teach me how to play. Yeah, why? I just want to play. I just want to learn. Nobody just wants to learn. You either want money, pussy, or fame. Which one is it? I just want to learn. Money, pussy, or fame. I want to... Which one is it? Okay, but there's, there's a girl. So it's pussy. Yeah, fine. I guess. What, does she have a pussy? Can you just tell me where the G is, please? It's right above the clit. Inside the pussy. The G cord. Can you... What are you doing? You just listen. Shh. And stop walking around, Dr. Gary. Gary, and I'll teach you a thing or three. You know what I mean? I think so. <laughs> shorts in a penny bundle. How could someone possibly steal it and then cash it? I, I, I don't know. Exactly genius. I stole it and tried to cash it. Didn't work. Great. Well, glad it's still here. Did he find you? Who? That Laotian boy. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. When you're done with him, give him my digits. Okay, I, I don't 
I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm just gonna take this. Thank you. And yeah. Bye. Oh, no, she's not coming here. Oh, she's not? That's yeah. great, though. You guys have been hanging? No. You've been talking on the phone with her? No. Nah. A little online chatting? Mm, not quite. See, I'm getting a little creeped out, man. I am doing exactly what you said. What I told you to do? Yeah, I'm becoming the man of her dreams. I don't think that that... I'm preparing for the moment to arise. I've been studying her Facebook page all week. I know it backwards and forwards. I'm visualizing the whole thing. I got it. Okay, how about this? Yeah? Visualize writing her a message, but then literally do it right now. <clears throat> Write her a message r right now? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Screw it. You're right. Let's do this. All right. This is the moment. Carpe diem. Um, okay. So what, what do I write? Uh, 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 got it. Okay. I love and invite my soul. What is this? What is this? It's leaves of grass. Walt Whitman, but he loves Whitman. No, 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 no. Really? No. Why, why, why? Dude. Look at this. Look. Hey, babe, I hope you're still coming to my show on Tuesday. LOL, Jackie. Who's Jackie? It's Jackie Williams. She's, uh, she's an aspiring actress. Their parents are family friends. Uh, she loves Kathy Griffin. She's an Aquarius. She does the show on Tuesday night at UCB. <laughs> oh, my God. It's really disturbing you know that. But that's your in. Well, so... What do you mean that's my in? <laughs> I'm going to go to some shitty improv shows, sit through the whole thing just so I can stare at her in the audience? No, you, so you can talk to her. Harry Potter, go! 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 Uh, 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 That's pretty fun. I can't tell you.
thing to do. He would do the same thing for me. Well, I really want to make it up to you. I take a ballroom class every Thursday, if you're interested. Oh, I also do ballroom. You do? Yeah. Honestly, though, I haven't done it since I was really, really young, but... Well, you better find something snazzy to wear. Okay, I will. All right, I'll talk to you then. Okay, good, good. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> what do you wear your dancing clothes? Oh, I've got them on. They're just under here. It's just like a white beard and a t-shirt. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm going to go home and change really quick. Oh, no, no. Come say. on. Uh, Can, just take your jacket off a second. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. It, I, I, I got to... I just got to tell you, when I was dancing, they wore different things, and I, oh, I, 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 I you said snazzy. I know, I did say snazzy. Okay, so really quick, I'll, you can't laugh, out. or else I'm, uh, I'm jumping out of the cab. <laughs> okay? No, no, I don't, I mean, that was, that was okay, a lot I'm gonna, of excitement. Yeah, I'm going to get this it's back on. Because it's so snazzy. Hey, can I go home? I'm just going to put a t-shirt. I think it's great. I think it's great. Some people dress up, yeah. so it's okay. Oh, we're here no. anyway, so... It's gonna be fine. I got you. I promise it's gonna be. Oh, it's please. gonna be fine. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. How much? How much do I owe you? What are you doing? Sam. Mercedes. Oh, hello. Hi. We've won this thing for the last three years. Don't get any ideas. Okay. It's not a competition. <sighs> Did someone tell them that? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You write novels for movies that already exist. Yes. Yep. <laughs> You see, um, you know, Teen Vampire? That, that was huge. The movie was, yeah. The novelization was, uh, not so much. I'm gonna read it anyway. You don't have to read it, really. I mean, just read the movie. What's your favorite book? The Teachings of Don Juan, Yaki Way of Knowledge. Are you serious? What? That's my favorite book. What? Yeah! Oh, when he turns into the, the crow. Dude, I tripped out in college. I tripped out so hard. <laughs> First day on the job, rookie. No. First day on the job, rookie. Okay, you just said that. What's with those two? I know what's new. Oh. Yeah, see? <laughs> you actually have some pretty sweet boots. Oh, thanks. Must be all the judo training. Deep into judo. <laughs> what? So Nothing, no, I just, my parents' dog's name is Judo, and you said deep into Judo, that just sounded funny, I'm an infant. <laughs> Your parents' dog is named Judo. <laughs> that is funny. Why are the next Sacred Spirit Retreat? This one's only one night. You kidding? No, I actually like this girl. Are you drinking whiskey? Bourbon. Ugh, bourbon? I hate it so much. It's her favorite though. Gotta build up my immunity. Are you okay? It's so smooth. the 
first guy I've ever met that actually likes doing this. that is such a dope talent. You know, this one here is quite the talented artist himself. Yeah, right. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not as, not as dope as she is. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> These are so good. Do you have like a time frame to make it doing drawing or whatever? Well, what do you mean, make it? Success is a myth. Love's the only true currency. After all this is done, all that really matters is how and who you loved. But there must be something that you're working toward, right? This. What do you mean, this? This brings me happiness. You know, and maybe... You know, in a week or a year from now, it won't, but, you know, then I'll just move on to the next thing that does. All right. That's good. I think, I That's think we're really done, good. yeah. It's about time. You two are such a rad couple. You both draw nice. or whatever. It's so cool. I remember when Kyle first... Hey, let's go. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck to you. Jeez. You must not be able to always draw people completely accurately at the risk of offending oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, every now and then you get someone that's like slightly offended. I kind of miss Kyle in a weird way. Yeah, well, we always have the memory of Kyle in our hearts. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you can always look back and smile. Nothing, I'm glad I met you, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was... Oh. oh. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, I was sorry, that was, I was supposed to kiss you on the cheek. Right. Tonight is the one from the hospital? Yes. Oh, okay. Tony. Oh, cool. um, he's really cool. And cool. Uh, he just got back from like traveling all around the world. And, wow. Yeah. I can't wait for you to meet him, though. He's going to love you. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> wait to be uh, loved by him. Because <laughs> I thought you said, um, I mean, isn't he a carpenter? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Tony is an interesting one because he kind of does like a little bit of everything. So mm. he just got into carpentry and he's been doing it on the side for friends and oh, family. Oh, very cool. And, uh, yeah. Nice, he's like a jack of all trades. Exactly. Why can't we do that? <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Tony, hey. You, right? Yeah, hey, I am so going? fucking glad to meet you. Yes, fucking. Thanks for coming up at noon. Wow, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get this musical debacle started. Yeah, I can't wait to hear you play. I've heard so much about you. Oh, no, that's good of you to say, man. Thanks a lot. I can't wait to play, but I went and uh, chopped up my paw really good. Oh, oh you have to be more careful next time. <laughs> you hear that? That is exactly the reason why she gets along with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! Right. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Uh, Sam plays guitar. Seriously? Yeah? No. Brother. Oh, oh, no. Oh, wait. 
well. You play no, no. No, no, Tony. Would I, you come on, Tony? Tony I'm honestly, going for an answer. Tony, yes, sir. Uh, brother, you ready? Yeah. Uh, three. Uh, two. I gotta tune this up. Tune. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, this is. Yeah, yeah. Is this? Is it? I'm you take your time, time, bro. You take your time, bro. I don't think I'm not really used to playing this. It's a I'm a right. He's good, right? He knows. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Pop, pop the old street. Sorry, guys. It's all right, brother. Oh, sorry. I owe you a guitar. Sorry. It's great. The right checks. It's all right. You all right, thanks, what? brother. This one's going to go out for you. I just, it's too hard. It's too much. Bunch of other people out in nature to so refresh your spirit. That sounds it's awesome. Ridiculously like cool. Right awesome. up my alley. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Do so you you want to go? Really? Yeah. Is that, it's really? Is, would that be cool? Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I, well, please. If please. that's okay, that'd, that'd be great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh that's God. Great. Oh, good. Because I wanted to go too. So. Okay. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Well. It was nice to meet you guys. Yeah, um, yeah. Where's the nearest subway stop? Oh, I'll walk you. No, no, forget it. Subway Get park. in the car. It's too cold. Really? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Oh my god, that's so it. nice. Thank you. Hi. Um, okay. Alright. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, I. I got this. Really got it. Right she seems great. She knows not to say anything, right? Hey, Al. Do you have a cool, like, hippie type shirt I could wear for the retreat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, just what are you doing? Yeah. I'm just I'm looking at a magazine. Looking at a magazine? We gotta go! What magazine are you looking at? Artists who are living. Why? Oh, God. Martha Stewart? Really? Yeah, dude, you got to see this Thanksgiving issue cover. It's insane. No, I'm good. Buddy, we got to go. All right. Oh. Thanks for killing the mood. Sorry. You pumped for the retreat? Pumped? No. Um, do you... Oh. Birdie will love it. You think?
I'm not exactly the lead singer of the fish either, but you know what they say, when at retreats. <laughs> you, you sure? Yeah, I'll let the old Christmas tree whenever I get the urge. <laughs> <laughs> what? Christmas tree? What? S'mores for me. S'mores, Sam. Um... <clears throat> mm. So, Birdie. Is that like a nickname or that's the thing? God, um, no, my parents were hippies mm -hmm. and um, they felt like the world was caging in on us. So <laughs> they wanted their little girl to fly free. And Spurdy. Spurdy, so cool. <laughs> <coughs> This shit is not me. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is such a mistake. It's called compromise. <laughs> Wine tasting isn't exactly Elliot's like favorite thing in the world, but remember? He took me to the Finger Lakes last summer. We had a really good time because he knew it was something that I had always wanted to do. You need to show me the pictures. I know. And look, I am not really into all this spiritual mumbo jumbo, but right. I come on all these retreats with him. Look, you don't have to love it. You just have to try it for the sake of your partner. Right. You're right. Eyes on the prize, soldier. Okay. Okay. No, Eyes on the prize. Here, take a napkin. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. I've never even been outside the States. 
I love I'd love to go to the Galapagos Islands though. That's the that's the place one place in my own. That's so crazy. Why? That's like the one place on earth I don't wanna go. Like where? Are you kidding? No. Well okay. I love what it represents. And I, I, I'm in love with the place, but I yeah. I feel like by going there, it would be like the end of what makes it what it is. You know, it's, it's like this untouched part of the world, and it's got all these incredible animals that you can't find anywhere else, and yeah. they're just roaming freely. Tortoises. It's, there's like this natural perfection to Right, it. so that's, what's wrong with that? That sounds, that sounds great. Yeah, but I, I feel like we'd find a way to fuck it up, you know? Like selfishly. I'd love to go, I'd love to experience it, but if we got to go, then so would loaded tourists who want to make that a honeymoon. No thanks. <laughs> no, that's, that's exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my parents would love this. Oh really? Yeah. They must be, like, super hippies. Let me just put it this way. In college, they had a band called Hemp Hemp Parade. <laughs> what? That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Where do they live? They live in Oregon, growing God knows what on their farm. <laughs> what about you? What about your parents? Ma, my dad's fine. He's, uh... In Vermont, living a quiet life. This retired, uh, retired columnist, very heady. Nice. Yeah. What about your mom? Where's your mom? Uh, my mom and I had sort of, um, sort of an up and down relationship. Mostly down, I guess. She left my dad for someone else who she thought was better and kind of stopped talking to me in the process. She sort of, sort of cut us off. So you guys don't talk at all anymore? Um, no, I, I got a card in the mail about three years ago. And, uh, no, f four, actually, now. God. Uh, it was from her new husband. And she said she, she passed away. But, you know, we hadn't talked in, like, five years, so it was... It was, it was actually... It wasn't as bad as it could have been. I, I'm, I, I kind of hate talking about this. Stuff. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm going to have to talk about it. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's all right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just stoned. And <laughs> it's a lot. I love this stuff, though. I think we are who we are when we're with the people that make us feel the most alive. I don't know, I feel very alive right now. I, I can't... I can't decide which is better, the fact that it's minus 20 degrees out or millions of twigs jabbing me in the ass right now. <laughs> I know, I have like a root jabbing me. <laughs> I'll jab you with a root. Sorry. That's, that's too bad, because I really love um, Dirty Nature Double on top. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Try saying that ten times fast. Dirty nature double entendres, dirty nature double entendres, dirty nature double entendres. It can't be done. It's impossible.
burger. Sorry. Sorry, it's raining. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's not entirely your fault. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited though. This seems really cool. Well, don't get too excited. I mean, I like it, but you know, to each his own. <laughs> So they, they're, they're props, and they're from all, these are all props from movies. This is so keep cool. I love it. I feel like a kid in here. I just right? want to play with everything. That's the point, and you can. Yes. I'm going to wear this to the Kentucky Derby. It's, I don't know if you're even doing a show, because it's, it's actually nice on you. I'm going to wear this. So. <laughs> oh, my God, look. This oh is perfect. Look. Yes. Oh. That's so good. Back. This is crazy. It brings you back? To what? Your tour of duty in Iwo Jima? Yeah. No, what does it remind you of though? Seriously. Oh. No, no, no. I was just, oh, no, 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 I was just, no, no. It's not even like I'm like holding out with some great thing. Okay, so tell me, it's not even I, I, I was, I was, in, I, I was in the Boy Scouts. I was a boy scout. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. Uh, oh, God, why would you want to tell me that? That's adorable. Did your parents make you do it as a kid? Sort of. Uh, you know, you can, people don't know this, but you can be in the Boy Scouts until you're 18. It's not just like little. Were you in the Boy Scouts until you were 18? Yeah. I, I wasn't as into it. I was really more into it. I know. It's, uh, so it's not it's cute. So good. It's, no, it's so Wait, please tell me you still have the uniform. Well, yeah, sadly, I think it probably fits me. Okay, well, you're going to have to wear this for me at some point because I actually find that really sexy. You do? I do. It's weird, but I'm, I'm serious. Really? And dude, everyone's allowed, like, a nerdy skeleton in their closet. Oh, um, yeah? Well, just one. Actually, no, you're allowed a whole closet full of nerdy skeletons. <laughs> well, I would, I would... I would need an industrial size walk-in closet. Oh, really? For all my nerdy skeletons. <laughs> give me another, uh, give me another example then. Oh. A really nerdy one. I mean, there are just so many. <laughs> no, I'm serious, really. Just one more. I feel like one nerdy skeleton a no. day reveals. No, I definitely. The nerdier, the sexier. You know that, right? Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, uh. I was in a band. That's not that nerdy. That's cool. No. Unless you're like a new kid on the block. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was the I was the Lost Wahlberg brother. I knew it. I'm Wally Wahlberg. So much alike. Right? I get that all the time. <laughs> I'm mostly in the ab region. No, really. What did you do? Did you play guitar or something? Uh. Oh man. What did you do? I. I did bass. You did bass. Mm -hmm. That's either an expression I've never heard or something's going on here. Well, I, yeah, I mean, if you consider the voice an instrument I played. <laughs> Were there any actual instruments in this band? No, ma'am. This is an a cappella group, isn't it? Nope. You were in an acapella group. In an acapella band, yes. I was in a, an acapella band. I can't believe you're in an acapella group and you didn't tell me. Well, why, why would I tell you that? Because it's awesome and we can harmonize. This is, is not so awesome. Uh, there were as many women in this band as there were instruments. That's the... This is an all-male acapella group. all-male acapella group. Yes, ma'am. So it's a man. It was a man band, so get it, get it straight. Oh, there's nothing straight about it.
She saw all of them, man. Jamie Lee Curtis, Kathleen Turner, Christy Brinkley. Fuck. Wait, Kathleen Turner? Really? Dude. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? She gave me an ultimatum. <laughs> Either the file goes or she goes, so she went. Wait a second. Uh, you're talking about a bunch of photos of old celebrities that you jerk off to and your girlfriend and you pick the photos? Well, just because I'm keeping the file doesn't mean that I love her any less. Why not just do whatever makes her happy? Or if you gotta keep them, just lie to her and say you threw them out. It's not just about the stupid fucking pictures. I don't even... I don't care. It's just that how much of myself, of what makes me who I am, can I just erase or, or, or throw out? Fuck it, I'm sorry for waking you up. It's okay. Um, so I have a surprise for the recital next Friday. Oh yeah? Yep. Full of surprises. <laughs> uh, my parents are coming. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. They're really nice, they're really mellow, so it's no pressure at all. Oh, okay. Upstairs for a nightcap. A nightcap? <laughs> what year is this? Shut up, I assume that you knew that nightcap is a euphemism for sexy time. Ah, uh, no. No, I've never heard that. Um, I'd love to come up and nightcap you, but um, only the Indian food and the dance moves are really joining in perfect harmony. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, well, sh yeah, um, just get some rest and call me if you need anything. I will. I will. You don't look good. It'll be okay. Well, tonight was really nice. Yeah. I have learned that to be with those I like is enough. <laughs> no, what? Uh, I think, um, uh, I think I'm falling in love with you. Bertie, you're, you're amazing.
Hello? Morning, sunshine. Alan, hey, what time is it? Listen, it's early, but I couldn't wait. I got those pages you emailed me last Oh, yeah? You like? I like you very much. I like you long time. That's why I'm calling. I'm calling to see if, if we can get a pitch session set together. Yeah. To uh, come up with the ending and go over some ideas for it. Uh, let's say next Friday at 6. Well, actually, you know, I, I got this dance recital thing. <laughs> That's a good one. But seriously, how's Friday going to be next Friday? Uh, yeah, sure. That'll work. All right. It's on. I'm excited. That's great. So what are you doing tonight? I'd like to get my guy a bear. You know, Alan, I can't. My, this girl I've been seeing, uh, she's got this surprise plan for us. All right. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta get back to writing, but I'll see you next Friday. Okay, I'm psyched up. I love you, pal. I love you too. Triple X's, triple O's. You too. into a studio one day and found like 240 paintings of this other woman. Turns out it was uh, their next door neighbor, Helga. Well, life's a bitch. God, I wish I could paint like that. I bet you could. So talented. <laughs> okay. Are you, uh, are you hungry? You want some food? I just ate. It's okay. Sam, what's going on? What do you mean? Do you want to be here right now? What are you talking about? Okay, I'm... I'm just starting to feel like some annoying girl you just met that you're trying to get rid of. I, I have a lot of shit on my mind, is all. But I'm making a lot of headway with my writing. Really good stuff. That teen vampire, too. <laughs> is that what you think? You think, you think I'm a hack writer, don't you? No. No, no, God. No, that's not what I meant. That's all right, I get it. You know, I, I kind of prefer this to the Wyatts. Is this because I, I told you that I, that you, you know, about what I said the other night? Come on, I see what's going on here. It's a little weird, don't you think? I mean, you, you invite me to this private viewing of your favorite artist paintings. We, 
your favorite liquor and your favorite bread and your favorite cheese. If you're not into it, we don't have to. No, 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 I get it, okay? I'm, I'm meatloaf and you want fucking filet mignon. What are you even talking about? I'm exhausted. The rock climbing, the guitar, and the cooking. The cooking? I'm just trying to keep up with you, Bertie, and it's not easy. Okay, no, I don't want you to keep up with me. Okay, that's, that, none of that stuff's important Can to me. Can I tell you something? Honestly, I think you're better off with someone else. Like Tony, outgoing, talented, worldly. Uh, he's, he's perfect for you. Uh, what? No, Tony is my friend, okay? Dating the guy was a complete nightmare. You're being ridiculous. Am I really? Who's my favorite author? I don't, I don't know. Carlos Castaneda? No. What's my favorite dessert? I don't know. Why do you tell me? So, see, don't you think it's, it's strange that y y you don't know those things? Uh, no. Honestly, no. There's a lot of stuff you don't know about me either. But what's the point? We are so different. There, there, there's too much... I barely traveled, and you're like a fucking Peace Corps veteran. <laughs> Even know. What do you see in me? Huh? And what's to say you won't just take off and leave whenever you want? That is kind of your philosophy, right? When life gives you something better, you just you take off. Right? That's what you think? You think I'm just waiting around until something better comes along? Well, I don't know. You tell me. That was the first time I've ever told a guy that I love him. Do you know how shitty it was for me to get that response from you? So why are you here? Because, idiot, I like you, whether you choose to believe it or not. So if you don't think that I know you because I don't know what your fucking favorite dessert is, then please tell me so I can stop imagining that this might actually go somewhere. One more drink for a split town, pull up in a rose drink Cadillac. He was singing with the top down girl from the north, Dylan and Johnny Cash. On the car, on the card game, listen to the boss who keeps his clothes in a gunny sack. He said, tell you what, sailor, if you take me out of here, I'll do anything that you ask. Cause I don't want to die like the people down here, but I feel that I'm fading fast. And he looked over to a chestnut hair He said, I don't believe in love But he knew good and well She was the only girl there So he figured it out Okay. You know my partner, Scott? Yes, he's yeah. booking the phone. How are you? So nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome. Thank yeah. you. Like the uh, man bag. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. I like what it says about you. Yeah. Hope there's a couple more gems than that one. Well, <laughs> me too. Help yourself to the uh, pastry, a little fruit? No, oh, thank you. Why don't you knock out a cantaloupe? Oh, keep it right and cooped up. It's got some uh, micronutrients in it. Knock a cantaloupe out. Okay. Yeah. Pop it in there. Okay, so as an overall general note, mm -hmm. the stream of consciousness narration is working great. Great. It is very clear that this guy is beyond lost and has uh, no clue how to navigate his own two sections. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, now, what I like is he doesn't understand how the real world works. Right. 
and uh, he's too afraid to show himself to the real world. And these are the seeds of his own undoing. Oh, I don't... He's a child. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, wandering alone in the woods, That's right? right. Uh, lost in the ether of his own neuroses. And this is powerful stuff. Yeah, he's saying you, you wrote the perfect pussy. The perfect pussy? Yeah, the perfect pussy. And now, Rod Shepard 12, and I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah. but it's at this point in the story that it's pretty obvious that... I completely side with the girl. See, for me, it's the, more around 11 or 10. Okay, same with the girl? Kind of, are you kidding? Well, what I, I think what that. you do is great, because you have a protagonist, and then you, like a relay race, hand off the baton and say, uh -huh. now we're going to root for this girl. That's and right. I think you do it in a way that's elegant, but at the same time, not subtle. Yeah, and if I may, like, how do you not love her? And he is such well, a spineless, uh, pathetic... He's a eunuch, uh, is what he is. That's exactly uh, what I'm saying. Uh, I don't mean it literally. Uh -huh. That's clearly they have... He the has, scenes between them that we know what we're talking about, but he's a eunuch in, in more ways than one. That's really, really I, what I, So the point you is, feel what I'm saying? I, I do. So okay, how would this metaphorical eunuch be at all redeemable in her eyes? Hold on, because all due exactly. respect, this is not my intention when I wrote the story at all. This was not what I was going for. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, she's so carried away with this whole thing. She's the one that puts pressure on it. She, she makes it heavy. Yeah. Well, how can you say that? There's no real connection between them. It's not his fault. They were in love. Yeah. He just wasn't cognizant enough to see it. Exactly. And now all she can do is accept the fact that he's completely in love. That's right. He had it. He lost it because he suffocated her with his own fear. <laughs> in the end, I mean, it's obvious that it can only be one thing, and that's that he's destined to be alone. And it's really honest and it's really simple. Yeah. He's cut everyone out. He's gonna continue to do that. He's gonna get over his issues with his mom and all that stuff. He's gonna spend the rest of his life by the fact that he wasn't able to show anybody. If he did wake up, it would be a lot of substances and a lot of years later. Mm -hmm. And at that point, she would have banged half of Manhattan, so he wouldn't want her anyway. So romance or no romance, it's, it's over with. Yeah. <laughs> Good. 
Alrighty. Alright. Hi. You look amazing. Where where are your parents? Um, I I called them off. I didn't think you were coming. Right. Sorry. Uh can we go somewhere for a second and just talk? Can I I, I need to We can talk right here. I love you. Sam, you, you don't have to. I know, I know, but I, I, I do. I am in love with you. I love you so much. That feels really good to say. I'm sorry I didn't say the other day, but I didn't know if I knew in the right way, but now I know that I, I, I knew in every way. I knew it. I know it, you know? <sighs> Does that make any sense? Not really. Okay, wait. Um... The guy that you fell in love with. You. No, the guy who like plays guitar and likes pedicures and uh, is thinking about getting a tattoo. That's not entirely who I am. I based all of that on your Facebook page because I I wanted to be your ideal guy. I know. What? I know. You're not exactly the most subtle guy in the world, Sam. You knew the whole time? Yeah. I, I, the origin of species? Come on. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to put myself out there and not have a connection. I was so afraid. But it's there. It's been there the whole time. Can we please start over, Bertie? No. But we can pick up where we left off. I can't believe you knew about the profile thing. You didn't tell me. Yeah, I even, um, I even started putting stuff on there just to see if you would do it. You kidding? No, like the rock climbing. What? That was the worst. That was the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something now? I, sh I should come clean with this. Uh, I was actually making out the whole male acapella group thing. Mm. Oh, nice try. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have a change in the roster this evening. Scratch Raymond. This dance will be Birdie and whoever you are. May I have this dance? Yes. What the fuck? Oh, Raymond, I'm so sorry. Let me explain. Uh, my girlfriend <laughs> didn't know I was coming to this thing because I'm kind of a jackass. You better watch out. If you ever leave her side again, I'm swooping in. But don't worry about that.